So we've been uh, talking about the feast days of Yah. Uh, we all know that we are in this fall season and, you know, Yahweh, all of his holy days, just like man's holidays, are around the seasons. So Yahweh has demanded us to do certain things on certain days. And praise Yah, he's put it in our hearts to want to do these things. So we have been, you know, keeping the feast days. And as you can see, it's a new moon. I mean, a, a full moon, which means it's, it's halfway through the month. With, so we're right on time for the first of the uh, tabernacles, starting tomorrow at sunset through Saturday at sunset. Next week we'll finish uh, discussing tabernacles. All right. So let's pick up some devotional reading in Psalms. 15, Psalms 87, and Psalms 27. Psalms 15, Psalms 87, and Psalms 27. And like I said last week, this is all about what? These feast days here are all about redemption mm -hmm. and restoration. And so what better things to dream of? <laughs> mm -hmm. What better things to dream of, I tell you. All right, Sister Johanna, you want to pick up Psalm 15 for me? Yes. Psalms 15. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, who <clears throat> shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness, mm -hmm. and speaketh the truth in his heart. Mm -hmm. He that backbiteth not with his tongue. Mm -hmm. um, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, mm -hmm. nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, uh, in whose eyes a vile person is contempt. Hmm. But he who, but he honoreth them that fear Yahweh. Amen. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changes not. Hmm. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. Amen. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Psalms chapter 84. And Sister Marie, if you'll pick that up. Psalm chapter what? 84. 84. Okay. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Yahweh of hosts. My soul longeth Yea, even fainteth for the courts of Yahweh. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living Elohim. Hmm. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her, her young, even thine altars, O Yahweh of hosts, hmm. my king and my Elohim. Praise Yah. Hmm. Bless are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still, excuse me, they will be still praising thee. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them. Amen. Who passing through the valley of Baca made it, made it a well. Mm -hmm. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before Elohim. Amen. O Yahweh of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O Elohim of Yaakov. Behold, our Elohim, uh, behold, O Elohim, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. Huh. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my Elohim mm. than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh, Elohim, is, is a son. Yes, yeah. For Yahweh, Elohim, is a son and shield. Yahweh will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Mm -hmm. O Yahweh of hosts, blessed is the man that trusts in you. Praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. How amiable are your tabernacles, O Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And the first one said, who shall dwell in the tabernacle of Yah, right? Yes. And, he said, and he's given us a lot of things that we need to consider. Mm -hmm. He talked about not taking usury, yeah. you know. Treating your fellow man and woman as you want to be treated, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not taking usury from your right. sister and brother. Mm -hmm. uh, holding those uh, that are of, of uh, Yahshua, the spirit, 
like-minded, mm -hmm. honoring them and esteeming them higher than any others, right? Mm -hmm. So the, that's how we mm -hmm. show Yah that we love him, by treating one another the way we're supposed right. to, right? right? So mm -hmm. praise, all praises be to the Most High. So we, in order for us to dwell in, in Yah's tabernacle and in his courts, mm -hmm. then we've got to walk uprightly. That is, yeah. walk in the law, right? Mm -hmm. You may stumble, but you're walking in the law. You're not walking lawless. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. So all praise be to the Most High. This is what we have to uh, want mm -hmm. and long for, is right. to walk in the, in the law and walk mm -hmm. in the tabernacles of Yahweh. Commune with Yahweh. Right. And, not, and you're saying not to just know it, but you've got to invite them. Oh, Absolutely. Lord. Every day. Every yeah. day. And so every then that interaction. becomes a part of what's in your heart mm -hmm. and within you. Yeah. What's in your so, heart is in you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great job. Yeah. So last week we ended with talking about the importance of the atonement sacrifice mm -hmm. and how Yahshua became not only the goat that mm -hmm. was killed for the sins of the priest, mm -hmm. for the sins of his family, for the sins of the children of Israel and the holy place, mm -hmm. but he was also the goat that was let go, escaped free, right? Right. To bear the burdens of, of, of the whole house. Right. And so with Yahshua's death and resurrection, he, he completed all of those in one. Not only did he complete the, the act of being the sacrifice, he also completed the act of being the head chief priest that made the sacrifices, only without sin. Not like the natural priest who sins, and year by and year by year we would get a new priest. And that, but Yahshua didn't have to do that. He sacrificed himself once. And not continually, mm -hmm. right? Right. So mm -hmm. uh, he was. So that's why he had to be of a different order, the order of Melchizedek, because Yahshua had to be high priest and right. king. Right. right. So the two highest rulers of our nation would be in one ruler, and that's in Yahshua. So when he comes back, we're not going to have a high priest. We're just going to have a lower order of priests. Mm -hmm. Yahshua will be both. Right. A high right. priest as well as, which means he will be the only one to be able to enter in mm -hmm. into the Holy of Holies to commune with the Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. And not right. Uh, the sons of Zodak. They're going to be in the outer court doing all those things, doing the sacrifices, okay. putting the showbread out, all that stuff, mm -hmm. but never in the Holy of Holies. Mm -hmm. So praise we, be the most high. You know the, the part where it talked about, like you said, one goat was killed and then one was spared alive and the sins of Israel fell on him and he was led out to the wilderness. Uh -huh. How does that relate to Yeshua? His resurrection oh. from the dead. Okay. Right? So sin, <clears throat> it, it, he, he died in sin because he hung on that cross. That was his only sin. Right? And okay. so three days later he resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. Free. So that's the whole concept of the, of the goat that was let go. The goat Remember, the priest had to lay his hands on the goat and uh -huh. profess all the sins of the children of Israel mm -hmm. on him as well and let him go free, escape. So coming out of death, that's the escape part, okay. right? And right. and the fact that we're, we're free in his life, mm -hmm. right? And his life is what? Eternal. Right. That's the whole part about the, the scapegoat. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. He really bore the sins and death, and then he was made alive mm -hmm. forevermore eternal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, for us. Mm -hmm. So, let's pick that up a yeah. little bit further. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Romans chapter 4, and we're going to read Romans chapter 4, verse 1 through chapter 5, verse 1 through 11. And this is going to start off talking about our father Abraham uh, and about the faith that Abraham had, mm -hmm. right? Which is how really all the nations could take part in this if they had the faith like our father right, Abraham, right? right? Mm -hmm. To become part of the of the covenant. Mm -hmm. But as we know, they don't because right. remember Yahweh said, I know Abraham, he will mm -hmm. teach his children to keep my laws, mm -hmm. my statutes, mm -hmm. and my judgments mm -hmm. before they were ever written down. Mm -hmm. Way before Moses. Right, right. right. So, praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Let's That's pick this up. Okay, Sister uh, Cheryl, mm -hmm. if you'll pick up Romans chapter 4, verse 1. Um, Romans chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Okay. What shall we say then that, Ab 
Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, have found. Mm -hmm. For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before Elohim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed Elohim, Elohim, Elohim. Mm -hmm. and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Praise mm -hmm. God. And he mm -hmm. asked the question. This is Paul right, wrote this Romans chapter, this book to the Romans, right? Right. Paul asked the question, what does the scripture say? So we mm -hmm. know that this letter that Paul wrote is mm -hmm. not the scripture. Right. He was referencing the Old Testament, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. actually in the book of Genesis. Yes. That's the scripture. Yes. From Genesis right. to Malachi, right. Zechariah, that's mm -hmm. the scripture. Mm -hmm. the, the New Testament is not scripture. The New Testament are letters that these brothers wrote that confirmed what was written in, in the, the scriptures. scriptures right. By the law and the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So he said, what does the scripture say? The scripture said, Abraham believed mm -hmm. Elohim and it was counted unto him for what? Right. For righteousness. He had faith. He believed. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. He believed when Abraham, when Yahweh told him, he said, that shall not be your heir, mm -hmm. but one that comes for, for your own bow. He's mm -hmm. going to be your heir. He was a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. It wasn't working like that no more. Yeah. Neither was Sarah's womb like that anymore, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But he believed it. Yeah, he believed it. Mm -hmm. And it was what accounted unto him for mm -hmm. righteousness, mm -hmm. right? Not for any works that Abraham had done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, go ahead, sister. Mm -hmm. yeah. Verse verse 4. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace but of debt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifieth, justifieth the ungodly, mm -hmm. uh, his faith is counted for righteousness. Right, so mm -hmm. to him, meaning mm -hmm. to Abraham, mm -hmm. to Abraham that worked not, but believed on Yah mm -hmm. that justified the ungodly, mm -hmm. okay. Abraham's faith mm -hmm. is counted for righteousness. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Six. Even as da David mm -hmm. also describeth the blessingness of the man unto whom Elohim imputeth righteousness without works. Okay, if, if Yahweh mm -hmm. don't impute righteousness to right. us, we in trouble because none of us are righteous. Right. He has to what? Justify us one way mm -hmm. or the other. In the old days, it was through animal sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Today, it's through the blood of his son, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Once and for all. You must be justified, and you must justify yourself through these rituals that we call these uh, memorials, these holy days, right? Mm -hmm. Especially atonement. So that we mm -hmm. have, we can start anew. Mm -hmm. If we don't have the times of atonement and Passover, mm -hmm. we all in trouble. Right. But those times are renewals, giving us to be becoming at one mm -hmm. again with the mm -hmm. Most High. Right? Him mm -hmm. walking over and covering over and passing mm -hmm. over our sins. Yeah. That's what these two holy days are about. Mm -hmm. And atonement is the holiest day. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Verse 7. Saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities, iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are mm -hmm. covered. Praise Yah. Blessed is the man to whom... Yahweh will mm -hmm. not impute sin. Not impute sin. Praise Yahweh. Blessed is the man to whom Yahweh will not impute sin. In other words, hold him guilty of sin. Right. Okay. Blessed is that man. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but that man has to what? Walk uprightly mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. much as he can, right? And mm -hmm. Yahweh will forgive you. Mm -hmm. And we've got these days in place to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Totally clean. Mm -hmm. These are the most important days mm -hmm. of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 9, sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only? Does or... this, is this blessing coming on the Jews only? Because that's who the circumcision were, the Jews, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or upon the early uncircumcised, all the other nations. Right. He's asking a question, right? right. Mm hmm Okay. Or did that come when when uh, Abraham was circumcised mm -hmm. before, or before he was circumcised? Wow. This is the question he's asking okay. now. Okay, verse 9 again, sister. Okay. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, 
or upon the uncircumcision also. Uh -huh. For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was it then reckoned? When he was in circumcision mm -hmm. or in uncircumcision, mm -hmm. not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. Right, because he had not yet enjoined the covenant of circumcision to Abraham when he told him that he was going to be the father of many nations right. and that he was going to have an heir and that heir would become his heir. He was not circumcised at that time. At that yeah. time, yeah. right. So when that, this blessedness was given to Abraham, he was still in uncircumcision. uncircumcision right, right. Right? So that this is how the nations changing. right can come under the bond of the covenant, mm -hmm. but you still got to what? Walk uprightly, mm -hmm. just like Abraham did. Mm -hmm. And that's what they have refused to do. Walk uprightly. Right. Walk in the confines of the law. Right. I see Excuse me. Okay, when we talk about uncircumcision here, uh, we ain't talking about like when you circumcise babies, right? Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what we're talking about. That kind of circumcision. Clean and unclean. Okay. Right? Okay. When, they, when they snip, that's the circumcision we're talking about right here. It was first given to Abraham to circumcise, right? Okay, okay. Okay. But All right, so I guess it's also talking metaphorically, like in verse 9. Well, right? it's talking about the circumcision was always referring to the Jews because right. we were the ones that began circumcision. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And uncircumcision is all the other nations. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, not necessarily clean and unclean. Not necessarily. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it has that component. When obviously. it's talking about that text. Right. But... But right now, We're it's right talking now. about the physical act of circumcision, mm -hmm. which was a covenant mm -hmm. that was enjoined to Abraham and his seed, and even the strangers that was among them. All of them had to be circumcised, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. By the eighth day mm -hmm. of their birth, they had right. to be circumcised. So this is why they do it, well, they do it now. As a matter of fact, they were supposed to be circumcised on the eighth day, mm -hmm. according to the scripture. Mm -hmm. But now they do it a day after whatever mm -hmm. but there's a, the, the, the cleanliness part is the reason for the circumcision mm -hmm. but it was never enjoined to any other of the nations until Abraham okay so like in 9 it says cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only which is the house of Abraham right or upon the uncircumcision also meaning the nations for, right for we say that faith rec was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness which was the case mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Before he was circumcised. Right. Right. But it doesn't it doesn't lessen the importance of circumcision. No. What it does is it says that the nations can be like Abraham if they had faith to walk in Yah's law, statutes, and judgments and, and not do have what to be circumcised. Yahweh, when they're not circumcised, they can take part of the covenant okay. of Abraham. Okay. Right? Okay. But that's He's a big deal. That later. Yeah, yeah. That's a big deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, 11. And he received the sign of circumcision. Still talking about Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. A seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had yet been mm -hmm. uncircumcised, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that he might be the father of all them that believe, mm -hmm. though they be not circumcised, mm -hmm. that righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Okay, okay. that makes sense. So mm -hmm. that's not giving more sense. 12. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only. Meaning Abraham is can be called the father of all the nations if they walk in the law, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the circumcision is specifically talking about the Jews. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 When it says the circumcision, it's mm -hmm. talking about Abraham's seed. Okay. Pick up 12 again, sister. Right. 12. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, mm -hmm. but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had been yet uncircumcised. Is, is that making sense? Mm -hmm. He's talking, to the yes, talking about the nations now. If they had mm -hmm. faith mm -hmm. and walked right. In the, the confines of the law, <clears throat> walk uprightly like Abraham did when he was uncircumcised, then they accept it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 13. 
For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, mm -hmm. but through the righteousness of faith. Right, because the law mm -hmm. had not been enjoined to right. us yet. That was hundreds of years later during yeah. the time of Moshe, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when Abraham was given this great covenant, right, mm -hmm. the law was not had not been enjoined. Mm -hmm. But yet Abraham knew the law. Mm -hmm. Yahweh walked and talked and he knew how to walk uprightly. Okay. Yeah. okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. 14. For if they which are of the law be heirs. So if the Jews be heirs. For if they which are of the law. Right, we the ones receive the mm -hmm. law, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void. Mm -hmm. And the promise made of none effect. Okay. Hmm. Because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Mm -hmm. mm. Therefore, it is a faith that it might be by grace. See, this is what our, our fathers lacked. They had the law, but they had no faith. They had no mm -hmm. heart and mm -hmm. love towards Yahweh mm -hmm. to do what he said just because he said mm -hmm. it. Abraham did. Mm -hmm. He had faith in Yahweh. Whatever Yahweh said, he believed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though it seemed like, yeah. you telling me I'm going to have a baby, I'm 100 years old? Right, right. Yeah. But he right. had faith that this is Yah. This yeah. is the creator of all things. If he said it, it's going to happen, mm -hmm. right? Mm. So that's the faith that he's talking about. If we, our people were given the law, but mm -hmm. you see what happened? What mm -hmm. did they do with it? Yeah. Huh? Kill the animal, kill the animal, kill the animal. Killed animal. Faith didn't even come into the picture. Absolutely. The love of Yah, the walking of the in the law, mm -hmm. never came into the picture. Mm -hmm. As long as they had an animal to kill, that's all they cared about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 16. There is, I'm going to read 15 again. Because the law worketh wrath, mm -hmm. for where no law is, there is no transgression. The law is created mm -hmm. for the ungodly mm -hmm. to show them the way to go, right? Mm -hmm. If you are already walking uprightly, because the law really is in, innate in us all, mm -hmm. you don't need a law, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're walking by faith, especially with Abraham, Abraham communed with Elohim mm -hmm. face to face, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's a big difference. Right. But now the law wasn't given to him at that time. Mm -mm. Not in that detail. Not in that detail. No, it wasn't given until the time of Moses, right? right. Mm -hmm. In that detail. Right. And that's why he said, because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 16. 16. There it is, a, therefore it is a faith mm -hmm. that it might be by grace, to Amen. the end of the promise might be sure to all the seed. Okay, read that again. Sis. Okay, mm -hmm. therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace mm -hmm. to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed mm -hmm. not to that only which is of the law mm -hmm. but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all praise Yah so not just to the Jews who received the law and didn't do the law <laughs> but to those that are as strong as Abraham to have faith in Yah believe Yah love Yah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. walk uprightly right yeah mm -hmm. that's even better that's mm -hmm. even better because mm -hmm. again the, the law is made for the ungodly not the godly right right mm -hmm. right okay mm -hmm. So if you if you walk in the law, you never have to sacrifice, mm -hmm. right? So the sacrifices were added to the commandments, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because of transgression. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seventeen, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations mm -hmm. before him whom he believed, even Elohim, who quick quickeneth. The dead mm -hmm. and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Mm -hmm. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, mm -hmm. according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Isn't that what he told promised Abraham? 
when mm -hmm. he was yet in uncircumcision, he promised him that he was going to be the father of many nations when he had not even had one child yet. Right. Mm -hmm. so, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was the father of many nations. Mm -hmm. Not all nations, but he was the father mm -hmm. of many nations. From Sarah, first he had Ishmael, then he had Isaac. Mm -hmm. From Isaac came, you know, um, Jacob and Esau, the 12 sons, mm -hmm. right? And then we became a mighty nation. And then he also had, what, six other children by Couture, mm -hmm. right, yeah. making up a lot of the Arabic tribes, right? <coughs> so he mm -hmm. did become a father of many nations. Mm -hmm. He believed Yahweh. He had faith. Yeah. That's more important. Yeah. How many of us yeah. talk to people every day? We can read this word. They don't mm -hmm. believe it. Mm hmm hmm it's not that they don't believe you, because mm -hmm. we didn't write it. Mm -hmm. right. They don't believe Yahweh, mm -hmm. because yeah. even the men that wrote it were inspired mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to write what they wrote. Mm -hmm. This is Yah's words. Yeah. They are truth, and they are spirit. Mm -hmm. So it's the, it's the spirit that they don't like, that they right. can't hear. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's true. So mm -hmm. having that faith is what gives us mm -hmm. justification and grace. Mm -hmm. it, it's what gave it to us under the animal sacrifices, right. and it's what gives us to us through the blood mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, 19, and being not weak in faith, mm -hmm. he considered not his own body now dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness, of Sarah's womb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He staggered not at the promise of Elohim through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to Elohim. Mm -hmm. Even though he laughed, just like she did. Mm -hmm. like, right. oh, please. <laughs> but he believed. Yeah. His he faith. believed. His faith. Yes. Praise you Giving glory to Giving Yah. glory to you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 21. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. What El mm -hmm. Elohim had promised, he was able to perform. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He said, that should not be your heir. Your slave, he's not going to mm -hmm. be your heir. Mm -hmm. The set time next year, Sarah is going to have a son. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. It was imputed to Abraham for righteousness because he believed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sister. 23. Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, mm -hmm. but for us also to whom it shall be imputed. Praise if, if we believe mm -hmm. on him that raised up Yahshua our Adonai. Adonai from the dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. What's going to be imputed? Our mm -hmm. sins. Huh? It'll be imputed mm -hmm. to us for righteousness. Remember what it mm -hmm. said in verse 6? Even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom Yahweh imputed righteousness mm -hmm. without work, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven yeah. mm -hmm. and whose sins are what? Covered. Covered. And you are now mm -hmm. at one with the Creator mm -hmm. once again. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's why he said, verse 24, but, mm -hmm. at, at, verse 23, now... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, now it was not written for Abraham's sake alone that it was imputed to him mm -hmm. for righteousness, but for us also to whom it shall be imputed okay. mm -hmm. if we believe on Yah that raised up Yahshua, the anointed from the dead. Mm -hmm. Not if we believe on Yahshua, the right. anointed, right. but if we believe on Yah. They raised up Yahshua mm -hmm. the anointed. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't understand mm -hmm. how Christians could be praying to, to Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they say, oh God, but they're really talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Throughout their prayers, yeah. throughout their yeah. whole sermons, everything mm -hmm. is about Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's their God. Yeah. It's, mis it's all totally confusing. Yes. miscombobulated. Totally confusing. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's miscombobulated. But this doesn't, they, these brothers weren't confused. Mm hmm. They knew Yahshua was the Adonai. He was the mm -hmm. second man, Adam, to help to cover our sins. Mm -hmm. They knew that. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're reading right mm -hmm. now. Right. And, okay. you know, I was going to say, that's why, I, you know, as I'm reading and still learning and mm -hmm. understanding, it's important to know what you're talking about. 
your audience, mm-hmm. yes. just like the com, you know what you were just saying. Right. Like everything is on. That can't be possible. Mm-hmm. Can't be possible. Mm-hmm. You exactly. can't. You. It's just not possible. Yeah. Okay. My husband used to say one thing: you got to know who's talking to who about what. And that is so true. It's just that simple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why when you see these mm-hmm. he's and hims and they and and mm-hmm. you don't put that in reference for you, you mm-hmm. soon forget what, what we started out talking about, which was Abraham, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So that's why I have I, I put the names in so we remember who's talking to who about what. Very that's right. why I said, Very this is Paul, right. Paul's letter, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Paul is set, talking about Abraham mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. righteousness was imputed to him. Right. Not for any right. works he had done, but because he believed mm-hmm. Yahweh. And that was, I guess, around that time when our people were just really seriously taking the law for granted. We just weren't. This time or once we received the law? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Because they didn't have the law at this we time. Just, they had no faith. Okay. They had yeah. no love of Yahweh. Yeah. That was evident from the day he yeah. brought them out of Egypt. Right. Because we just sinned up they didn't the storm. Believe. Mm-hmm. Didn't believe. They didn't believe. That's what it came okay, down to. How many to. miracles they sh- he showed them? Mm-hmm. How many things he did yeah, for them? Yeah. There was just that unbelief. Right yeah. No faith, no love. Mm-hmm. Did what they wanted to do. Right. No sense of righteousness. Okay. So mm-hmm. verse 24 says, "For us, uh, but for mm-hmm. us also to whom it shall be imputed, mm-hmm. meaning our sins, right? Mm-hmm. If we believe on Yah that raised up Yahshua our Adonai from the dead. Verse 25. Who was delivered for our offenses. Who was given up to death Mm -hmm. as a sacrifice Mm -hmm. for our offenses. Not for his own. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, which of you convict me of sin? You know I'm sinless among you. I'm guiltless among you. Which of you convict me of sin? Mm. Everything they brought Mm -hmm. up, they were men of Belial. They lied, right? Right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the truth. He had not done any sin. From the day he received that baptism to the day mm-hmm. he died, that sin that he 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 was that was laid upon him was just being hung on that tree. Mm-hmm. So he did get delivered for our offenses, yeah. our sins, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what? And was raised again for what? Our justification. Yeah. Right? So if you take this out of the context of the Passover lamb to the goats. Yeah. Right? One dying, one becoming free. free, you got the resurrection and the death and the resurrection. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. He was raised again for our what? Justification. Mm-hmm. Huh? To put us back at one with the Father. Praise God. Justifying, imputing yeah. righteousness to us. And we didn't even deserve it. Mm-hmm. Please. That's a mighty love right Praise there. Praise God. Mm-hmm. It's amazing because when you think about it, um, Passover mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, up atonement. until first fruits mm-hmm. and atonement are mm-hmm. two sides of the same coin. Or, yeah, two sides of the mm-hmm. same coin. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely is. Praise God. Okay, mm-hmm. so, so I'm going to pick up chapter 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with, our, with Elohim through our Adonai, Yahshua, the Anointed One, mm-hmm. by whom also we have access by faith unto this grace wherein we stand Mm -hmm. and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yah. Don't we believe that everything Mm -hmm. Yahweh said that he's going to do? That's the hope that we we rejoice in. Mm -hmm. We all be like, oh Lord, when is the kingdom coming? Oh, I can't (laughs) wait. Oh my God, I can't (laughs) wait. Sick of this oppression. That's what he's talking about Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 again. By whom also we have access by faith Mm -hmm which is what Abraham had, right? Mm -hmm. Into this grace wherein we stand Mm -hmm. and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yah. Mm -hmm. And not only so, but we glory in what? Our tribulations Mm -hmm. also. Knowing that tribulation works our patience Mm -hmm. and patient experience Mm -hmm. and experience hope Mm -hmm. and hope maketh not ashamed. Because the love of Yah is shed abroad in our hearts mm-hmm. by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time the Mashiach died for the ungodly. Mm-hmm. 
For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man some would even dare to die. Mm. But Yah commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Mashiach died mm. for us. Mm. Much more than being now justified, what? Mm -hmm. By his blood. Yeah. By his sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. We shall be what? Saved from wrath through him. Y'all hear this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to Elohim by the death of his son, much more being reconciled to Yah, we shall be saved by his son's life. Mm -hmm. And not only so, but we also joy in Yah through our Adonai Yahshua, the anointed one, by whom we have now received mm -hmm. what? The atonement. The atonement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And once a year, the high priest had to go in mm -hmm. with the blood of that goat mm -hmm. for himself, for his family, for the holy place, and for the children of mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. And once a year, he put that all on the head of that goat mm -hmm. and sent him out alive. Mm -hmm. Death and resurrection. Mm -hmm. Death yeah. and resurrection. This is why we've mm -hmm. received the atonement through the Adam and Yahshua the Mashiach. Yeah. That's why this is it such a memorial. It had to be memorial. patterned after that. It had to be. Everything has to be. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. It, so, it's seamless. I mean, it's just amazing how it just fits like a glove. Mm -hmm. This is why. Mm -hmm. Passover. And atonement mm -hmm. are the two most precious days of the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Atonement being the most precious. Yes. The most precious. Because Passover only dealt with his death, right? We had to go to the next couple of days for his resurrection. Mm -hmm. But atonement, it deals with his death and mm -hmm. his resurrection. Mm -hmm. All in one His day. freedom, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. His killing and his freedom. Mm -hmm. All in one. Mm. By him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. being the high priest, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's as far as I wanted to go right there. Mm -hmm. Praise y'all, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the law, sisters. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 16, verse 23 through 30, 26. Levi 16, <laughs> 23 through 26. Leviticus 16. 23 through 26. I tell you what, just because I know you weren't here, my sister. So I'm going to pick this up at verse uh, 21. Okay. <laughs> oh. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel mm. and all their transgressions in all their sins, mm. putting them upon the head of the goat and shall send him away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities unto a land not inhabited. And he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Now remember, when Yahshua mm -hmm. told his apostles, he said, I go away. Mm -hmm. And where I go, you cannot come. Mm -hmm. yes. And they, they were all looking at each other. Where the nigga going? Where you going? Mm -hmm. Why we can't go? Right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he was going into a, a, a place not inhabited by man. Mm -hmm. Heaven. Mm -hmm. Right? They can't go. Mm -hmm. He said also, though, he said, but I'm going to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. yes. But where I come, you cannot go. Mm -hmm. But I will come again and receive you unto myself. Yeah. Right? Unto his kingdom. Because he knew his kingdom wasn't in heaven. He's just there for a minute. Mm -hmm. He's coming back on earth. His kingdom is to sit on his father David's throne in Zion, ruling all the nations mm -hmm. for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. He knew that. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. Uh, and the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities unto a land not inhabited. And he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. And that's why his apostles were like, they were like, where are you going? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wonder where are you going? Mm -hmm. Why we can't go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the same with this wilderness with the right. goat. No, it was a land not inhabited. Mm -hmm. Nobody could go follow him and figure out where he was going. Mm -hmm. 
He was free right. to go wherever he wanted to go. It was an area where man did not inhabit. Okay. Okay, verse 23. Going to 26. And Aaron shall come unto the tabernacle of the congregation and shall take off the linen garments which he put on when he went into the holy place and shall lead them there. And he shall wash his flesh with water in the holy place and put on his garments and come out and offer his burnt offering and the burnt offering of the people and make an atonement for himself and for the people. Mm -hmm. And the fat of the sin offering shall he burn upon the altar, and he shall let go the goat for the scapegoat shall, I'm sorry, and he that let go the goat for the scapegoat shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water and afterward come into the camp. That's as far as I want you to go. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go into verse, verse go to verse uh, 29. And this shall be a statute forever unto you, that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you. That's why in Romans, when he was trying to tell them about the circumcision, meaning the Jews and the nations, we all won. Mm -hmm. And as far as this day goes, it didn't matter who you were whether you were a stranger, whether you were Israel, you had to keep mm -hmm. this day, right? Mm -hmm. If you were among the Jews. Mm -hmm. And if you had the faith of our father Abraham, you had to walk in these commandments. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is why it says that this is something for, if you, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourn among you. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you that you may be clean from all your sins before Yahweh. Even if you were of another nation. If you walked in the faith of Abraham, which means he walked up rightly, mm -hmm. yes. Even if you were from another nation. The uncircumcision, right? right. Because, Yah, because Abraham received those promises and he had that faith and love of Yah, not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. So those who are the nations who are considered uncircumcised, they can do the same thing mm -hmm. if they walked in the law. Mm -hmm. Like, like um, Cornelius. Mm -hmm. Cornelius did. He walked in the law. Mm -hmm. He loved Yah with all his heart mm -hmm. and all his soul. He did everything for our people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a great example mm -hmm. of someone from another nation who did what thus yeah. says Yah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. And yet he was labeled as a, he was, he was, he was a Christian. Christ he was a Gentile. Gentile. Mm -hmm. He was a Roman. He was a Gentile. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Consider. Okay. Gentile. Verse 31. It shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you, and you shall afflict your souls by a statue. How long? Forever. Mm -hmm. How long? Mm -hmm. Forever. Are we still in forever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Praise y'all. Uh, let's go to Levi 23. We didn't read this last week, so we better get this in this week. Sister Johanna, please pick up uh, Levi 23, verse 23, and... Go through verse 34. Okay. Uh, pick it up through 36, rather. Mm -hmm. Okay. Levi 23 and 23. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall you have a Sabbath, a memorial blowing of trumpets, and holy convocation. You shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, Also unto the tenth day of the seventh month there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be um, an holy convocation unto you. Uh, and you shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. And you shall do no work in the same day, in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make an atonement for you before Yahweh your Elohim. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work on that same day, the same soul shall will I destroy from mm. among his people. That's deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 31. 
ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Mm-hmm. It shall Are we be... living in a dwelling? Yes. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. It may not be in our mm-hmm. land, but we still live in dwellings, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Said so this shall be a statue forever. I'm going to mm-hmm. destroy that soul that does work on this day, right? Mm-hmm. Work of service, meaning mm-hmm. you getting paid to do something for somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Verse 32. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even. Mm-hmm. From even until even shall you celebrate your Sabbath. Praise God. That's as far as I want you to go, my mm-hmm. sister. It's pretty clear cut, right? Mm-hmm. This is a bit, why, why is that such an important day? Because mm-hmm. he's going to forgive you of what? All your sins, mm-hmm. all your trespasses, mm-hmm. all your iniquities. I mean, come on. That's, all he's yeah. telling you to do is don't. Do anything that will make your body feel good, like putting water in it and putting food in it, mm-hmm. or do anything that makes somebody else feel good, like getting them money for your work of service, mm-hmm. right? Right. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Isn't that a, a small right. thing to yeah. pay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For forgiveness of all the things mm-hmm. you've done from Passover all the way down yeah. from the first month down to the seventh month? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. Yes, yeah. huge. You know, in verse 32. <laughs> Where it says the, um, that we shall keep it on the ninth day of the month at even, mm-hmm. that is the same as the tenth month, because that's when the tenth, the tenth, tenth day. let me say, the tenth day starts mm-hmm. at the ninth day at even. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why he said it. Mm-hmm. The, from even to even. Mm-hmm. This is how he did it in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And if he did it in the beginning like that, that's okay for me, mm-hmm. huh? He mm-hmm. doesn't change. He doesn't change. Right. He said mm-hmm. from even to even. That's our day, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's a twenty-four hour period. Yeah. I mean. We don't have nothing to do with that. We it right, happens. Right. Yeah. We see it happen around us. Mm-hmm. He's given these the stars and the and the, the all of that to govern that the time by, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, how are we gonna tell somebody that? Oh, when the sun come up and the sun go down, that's a whole day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happened to the look the moon? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. And the and the and the time that the moon rains. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, we finished that right. Mm-hmm. Romans chapter 3. I'm going to pick it up at verse 1. I love Romans. No, I really do. This is one of my most favorite chapters and one of the most misunderstood Hmm. chapters in the whole book. (laughs) What verse 3 you said? Uh Mm -hmm. That's why Peter said, you know, Mm -hmm. people read Paul's writings Mm -hmm. to their own Mm destruction. They wrestle with it to their own destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When really he's he he's so he was so brilliant that if you don't just break down every sentence he's saying, you will get yeah. caught up and think he was saying, "Do away with the law." And that's right. not not what he was saying at all. Just like we were just mm-hmm. reading, if you don't believe that that he was a Pharisee of Pharisees, meaning he knew the law, mm-hmm. that he was saying that you can be uncircumcised and do whatever the heck you want. No, that's not mm-hmm. what he was saying. He was saying. Be like Abraham when he was in uncircumcision. Mm-hmm. Which Abraham what? Believed mm-hmm. Yah. He believed everything Yah said. Yes. That was the whole faith of Abraham. Right, right. That's what we have to do. Believe mm-hmm. Yah, right? Mm-hmm. If we believe what he say, aren't we going to fear him? And are we going to mm-hmm. try to walk in his ways? Right. right. Praise right. Yah. Mm-hmm. Chapter 3, verse 1. Mm-hmm. What advantage then has the Jew? Mm-hmm. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much in every way, chiefly because unto the circumcised, the Jews, Mm -hmm. were committed the oracles of Yah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For what if some of them did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yah without effect? Mm -hmm. Yah forbid. Yes, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, Mm -hmm. as it is written, that you might be justified in your sayings, and might overcome when you are judged. Mm. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of Yah, what shall we say? Is Yahweh unrighteous who take vengeance? Mm. I speak as a man. Yahweh forbid. Excuse me. For then how shall Yahweh judge the world? For if the truth of Yah hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? So really, Paul is writing about the fact that people were saying that he was teaching against the law. 
right? Mm -hmm. And this is why his, his conversation is about that, right? What, you know, if, if I'm abounding through a lie that I said, why am I also judged as a sinner, right? Mm -hmm. And not rather as we be slanderously reported and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise. For we have before proven both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understand. There is none that seek after Yah. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing. These are, these are, these mm. are the Jews in his time, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> their feet are swift to shed blood. Mm -hmm. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Mm. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of Yah before their eyes. Now we know that whatsoever the law saith, it says to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before Yahweh. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, and what are the deeds mm -hmm. of the law? The it's, it's, it's the works, right? It's yeah. the animal sacrifices. Mm -hmm. There shall no flesh be justified in Yahweh's mm -hmm. sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. But you're no longer going to be mm -hmm. justified by the blood of those animals. Mm -hmm. If you're not under the blood of the, the Mashiach, you may as well keep on committing sin. Because mm -hmm. you will not be justified. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. But now the righteousness of Yah without the law or the deeds of the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of Yah, which is by faith of Yahshua, the Mashiach, unto all, and upon all them that what? Believe. Mm -hmm. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yah, being justified freely by Yah's grace through what? Redemption. The redemption mm -hmm. That is in the Mashiach Yahshua, whom Yahweh has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in Yahshua's blood to declare Yahshua's righteousness mm -hmm. for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of Yah. Mm -hmm. To declare, I say at this time, Yahshua's righteousness, mm -hmm. that he might be just and the justifier of him which believe in Yahshua. Where is boasting then? Is it excluded? By what law? Of works? No. But by the law of what? Faith. Faith. Hope. Belief in mm -hmm. Yah. Right? Mm -hmm. If you have all those, you're going to walk in his law. Mm -hmm. And you are then justified when you don't keep it. Right. Through the blood of Yahshua. No longer through mm -hmm. the blood of the animals. Mm -hmm. Verse 28, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith mm -hmm. without the deeds of the law. Mm -hmm. Justified by faith that if you're mm -hmm. under the Mashiach's blood, mm -hmm. you're going to be justified. Because mm -hmm. he was what? The atonement mm -hmm. sacrifice. Right? You're going to be justified. So when it says deeds of law, of the law. That means animal sacrifice? Of course. Yeah. Deeds is works. Yes, yeah, right. About right. the deeds. The only thing in the law mm -hmm. that, that is works is if you commit that sin, you must mm -hmm. take to the priest this mm -hmm. many goats, this many birds, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be, mm -hmm. to become what? At one or mm -hmm. justified okay. for your right. sin. So by the works mm -hmm. of the law or the deeds of the law, you can no longer be justified. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's Verse 29. Powerful. Is he the, Yah, the Elohim of the Jews only? Mm. Circumcision, right? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles mm -hmm. also. 
seeing it is one Elohim which shall justify the Jews by mm -hmm. faith and the uncircumcised or the Gentiles mm -hmm. through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Good question, right? Because mm -hmm. you would think he's talking against the law here. Right, right. He's not. He's talking against animal sacrifices. Mm -hmm. He says, verse 31, mm -hmm. Do we then make void Yah's law through faith? Yahweh forbid. Yea, mm -hmm. what do we do? Establish, we establish, establish the, law. the law. Huh? Yeah. Because the law tells you how to walk. Mm -hmm. You need to walk in it. Praise That's a wonderful way to wrap that up. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. y'all. Okay. 1 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, forgive me. Chapter 5. And this is this is hard reading, sisters, but we got to go through this at least once a year to really understand how faith in Yahshua's blood mm -hmm. will justify mm -hmm. us at the, at, the, at the time of atonement, mm -hmm. just like it does in the time of his death, which is Passover. Right. Right? Right. How important this is. Okay. These memorials are so important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in order that you've got to be under the blood, which means mm -hmm. you've got to have that first baptism, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then every year mm -hmm. you're dealing with these rituals to keep you at one mm -hmm. with the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. okay. Once a year. That's the only time mm -hmm. the high priest could go in for this sacrifice. That's right. Once right. a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second uh, yeah. Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. Through 21, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. This is your honey, so I'm picking that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. 2 um, Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. For the love of the Messiah, love of the Messiah constraineth us, um, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we, um, then we're all dead. Hmm. Chapter 5. Verse 14 okay. through 21. 14 through uh, 21? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll start with 14 again. For the love of the Messiah constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. And that he died for all, they which shall live should not henceforth live unto themselves, mm -hmm. but unto mm -hmm. him which died for them and rose again. Praise Yah. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known the Messiah after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Because mm -hmm. he's no longer in flesh no more, right? Right. He's spirit now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 17. Therefore, if any man uh, be in the Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. And all things are of Elohim. Amen. Who hath reconciled us to himself by Yeshua the Anointed One. It wasn't reconciling us to Yahshua. It's reconciling us to Yah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through the blood of Yahshua the mm -hmm. Mashiach. Right. Yahweh always mm -hmm. commanded a blood sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You can't get around that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why his blood was so mm -hmm. important. It mm -hmm. wasn't the animal that did nothing. Mm -hmm. It was a man mm -hmm. that right. took on us all of our sins mm -hmm. and died yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And all things that are, uh, and all things are of Yahweh, mm -hmm. uh, who hath reconciled us to Himself, that being to Yahweh, to Yah. by Yeshua the Anointed mm -hmm. One, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. He's given to us what the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that nineteen you're on? Uh, Verse eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Mm -hmm. Now uh -huh. on nineteen. Mm -hmm. So we we're saying, mm -hmm. do you know the Messiah? Mm -hmm. Right? Do you know how important? Mm -hmm. This day is regarding the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Do you know most Christians have no clue what mm -hmm. atonement is about? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. no How important, what role Yahshua mm -hmm. plays, not only as mm -hmm. the sacrifice, but as the high priest. Mm -hmm. They don't have any clue. Mm -hmm. But you are not clueless, sisters. Mm -hmm. Y'all sure. understand all these things, right? Because mm -hmm. we're not just reading in this new covenant. Mm -hmm. We're reading the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's exactly. Mm -hmm. Which this brother is referencing. Mm -hmm. All of these brothers. Mm. Verse 19, to wit that Elohim was in the Messiah, um, reconciling the world unto himself. Say that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To wit that Elohim was in the Messiah, reconciling the world to himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, he was. says, 
I was before yeah, my father yeah, created yeah. me before all mm -hmm. things, right? Yep, true. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, but my delight was with the sons of men. Mm -hmm. huh? He named them after himself. Mm -hmm. He said, your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel mm -hmm. shall your name be, right? Mm -hmm. For as a prince have you power with Yah and have prevailed. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what he told them? Mm -hmm. Huh? So he said what? Mm -hmm. To wit, that Israel or mm -hmm. Elohim was what? In the body of the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reconciling the world, mm -hmm. or the people in the world, mm -hmm. unto himself. Not imputing their trespasses Unto them. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. David said what? Blessed is this man that, they, that Yahweh mm -hmm. will not impute a trespass. Mm -hmm. This had to happen, mm -hmm. sisters. Mm -hmm. And have committed unto us the word of mm -hmm. reconciliation. Mm -hmm. At one minute, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Imputing of your sins. Being, being at peace with the Father once again. Mm -hmm. Through the death of his son. Spirit and mm -hmm. natural. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. All at once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that verse 19, mm -hmm. um, to wit that Israel was in the Messiah, goes mm -hmm. right back to when we read about um, him being called Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Because that is mm -hmm. Elohim, Elohim is with us. us. Israel is mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Okay, verse mm -hmm. 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for the Messiah, as though Elohim did beseech you by us. Mm -hmm. We pray you in, in Messiah's stead, be ye reconciled unto Elohim. Mm -hmm. Uh, for he has made him to be sin for us, uh, who knew no sin, mm -hmm. that we might be made righteous of Elohim in him. Right. Mm -hmm. If he made mm -hmm. Yahshua, Israel Yahshua, to be sin for us, Yah, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then in them, aren't we righteous? Mm -hmm. Are we made righteous? Mm -hmm. If we have hope and if we believe, yeah. mm -hmm. right. we're made righteous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just such a... Right. Woo, <laughs> such a beautiful thing. It truly, truly is. Mm -hmm. uh, but you you don't hear a lot of uh, so-called Christians dealing with this these chapters because mm -hmm. Paul's right. writings is hard to be mm -hmm. understood because mm -hmm. they have no knowledge of the law. Right. Mm -hmm. If they were to read what we read in Leviticus mm -hmm. 16, mm -hmm. excuse mm -hmm. me, and in Leviticus 23 about the atonement, mm -hmm. they would right. understand yeah. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They would fully understand mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. Yahshua had to die but once to again, be to bear the sins of many. Right. But that's once again that's going back to the law book. Right. Which they stay away from. Yeah. Why? Because they say, Oh, it's been done away yeah, with. It. Don't win right. it. Right. Exactly. Don't Galatians win it. chapter one. Verse. Because all this is just <laughs> it's laid out like yes, an accordion, it is. isn't it? Yes, it like is. the like the like the uh like a sound of a of a trumpet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Galatians chapter one. Ephesians. It's right after Corinthians. So mm -hmm. it's Romans, then Ephesians, then Corinth, then Galatians. Sorry. What chapter? One. And what I'm just, I'm uh, gonna pick this mm -hmm. up. We're gonna read uh verse three through five, and then we're gonna skip over to chapter three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chapter one, verse three. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. Mother Dot, you got it? She got it on mute. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You took, okay. You took a minute Praise to get off. <laughs> Chapter 1. I'll pick it up at verse 1. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that'll give you some context. It's who's talking to who about what. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 1. Saul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Yahshua, the anointed one, and Elohim, mm -hmm. and the Father. Who raised him from the dead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the congregations of Galatia. Galatia, Grace be to you and peace from Elohim, the Father, and from our Adonai, Yahshua, the Christ. Who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. According to the will of Israel and our Father. Mm -hmm. To whom be glory forever and ever. So let it be. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, the key being verse 4. Who gave himself, what? For mm -hmm. our sins, mm -hmm. that he might deliver us from this present evil mm -hmm. world, according to the will of 
Elohim, which is Israel mm -hmm. and the Father, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. whom be glory forever and ever. So let it be. Who? Mm -hmm. the Israel and the Father. Mm -hmm. Be glory forever mm -hmm. and ever, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, chapter 3. And we're going to pick up. Verse 6. Chapter 3, Galatians chapter 3, verse 6. Even as Abraham believed Elohim, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know you therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Mm -hmm. And the scripture, foreseeing that Elohim would justify the heathen, th the heathen, meaning the Gentiles, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. through faith, Preach before the good news unto Abraham, saying, In you shall all nations be blessed. Mm -hmm. So then, they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are, are of the works of the law are under the curse. For as many as are what? Killing the animal mm -hmm. sacrifices are under the curse. Mm -hmm. For it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of Yah, it is evident. For the just, or the justified, what? Shall live by mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. And the law is not mm -hmm. of faith, but the man that does the law mm -hmm. shall live in him. Verse 13, the Mashiach have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is every one that hangs mm -hmm. on a tree. That was his, mm -hmm. that was his sin, wasn't mm -hmm. it? So we have been what? We have been redeemed from the sin of the law or be, being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree, mm -hmm. that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yahshua the Mashiach, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man can disannul it or add to it. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made, he said not and to seeds many, mm -hmm. but as of one, and to your seed, which is the Mashiach. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yah in the Mashiach, the law, which was 430 years after mm -hmm. Abraham, cannot disannul that it should make mm -hmm. the promise that was given to Abraham of no effect. Mm -hmm. For if the inheritance be of the law, mm -hmm. it is no more promise. But Yahweh gave it to Abraham by promise. Are y'all still following where we tracking here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, all this was given mm -hmm. before Moses mm -hmm. gave the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, verse 18. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is mm -hmm. no more a promise. But Yah gave it yeah. to Abraham by promise. Yes, it is. Wherefore then, serve the law. It was added because of transgressions mm -hmm. until the seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Who is that seed? Yahshua, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but Yahweh is one. Mm. Is the law then against the promises of Yah? Mm. Yahweh forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, truly righteousness should have been by the law. Mm -hmm. But the scripture has concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Yahshua the Mashiach might be given to them that believe. I lost my spot, I'm sorry. Mm. 22. We are... Uh, Galatians 3, mm -hmm. verse 22. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was in here. Yeah. Verse 23. Mm -hmm. But before faith came, we were kept under the mm -hmm. law. Because cause the mm -hmm. faith of Abraham wasn't seen again mm -hmm. until, until Yahshua, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we have never seen Yahshua, right? But yet we believe mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. his blood covers our mm -hmm. sins. Mm -hmm. And that he still 
acts as intercession for us, even on this day of atonement, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In that faith, in that hope, in that grace. Verse 23 again. But before faith came, or Yahshua came, we were kept mm -hmm. under the law, mm -hmm. shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto the Mashiach, mm -hmm. that we might be justified mm -hmm. by faith. Mm -hmm. Verse 25. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Meaning, mm -hmm. uh, in other words, under the mm -hmm. deeds of the right. law. Right. Right. Verse 26. Mm -hmm. For you are all the children of Yah by faith in what? Yahshua the Mashiach's mm -hmm. blood has covered your sins. Mm -hmm. Has what? Disannulled all of that stuff you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Verse 27. For as many of you as have been what? Baptized into the Mashiach have put on the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Then there is neither Jew nor Greek. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There is neither bond nor free. Mm -hmm. There is neither male nor female. For you mm -hmm. are all one in the Mashiach, Yahshua. Right. And if you be the Mashiach, then are you Abraham's mm -hmm. seed and heirs according mm -hmm. to the promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Y'all hear that, sisters? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. <coughs> Pick that up, John. Pick it up at 28 again. 28. There is neither <coughs> Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in the Messiah mm -hmm. Yeshua. Mm -hmm. And if you be the Messiah, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Why? Because Abraham believed in mm -hmm. Yah and right. he did what he told him mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Obedience. So 20, 28, there is neither Jew nor Greek. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we all walk in, if Israel. we all, yes, yeah, spiritual Israel, if we all oh, walking okay. in the law, oh. Walking in righteousness, mm -hmm. loving one another, yeah, keeping there, there, is, there no, is no right. Jew, no Greek, yes. there's, there's no slave, no free, no, there's no male, rich, no poor, no female, no female. Because no everybody female. has to do the same thing. That's right. So Everybody's right. under Yah's right. law. That's right. And we all mm -hmm. one right. in the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So right. these brothers walking around heady and they princes and they this and woman got to walk ten feet behind them. They ain't even read this, have they? Yeah. yeah. There's neither neither male nor female. Yeah. That's there's deep. neither Jew. Or Gentile. Male mm. and female and slave and master. Free, Everyone right. Has Rich to or poor, be free it don't matter. matter. Everybody's got to be obedient to mm -hmm. only Yah. Having faith that the Messiah Messiah's blood will cover your sins. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Huh? Absolutely. Right. Mm. All but the other first, stuff is unimportant. Right. Verse 27. Mm -hmm. For as many as you have been what? Baptized. Mm -hmm. That's first. Right. Yeah. Then the rest okay. follow. Mm -hmm. okay. Because if you That's haven't been Christ. that having right. that original cleansing, mm -hmm. you're still in all the sins you've been in mm -hmm. for all your life. Since mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. you were gone through puberty, right? There's no covering. Yeah. There's no covering. Right. right. So you gotta be cleansed and then you walk in what? Newness mm -hmm. of life. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Messiah covers. <clears throat> He's the one that covers our sins. Mm -hmm. Right. Not didn't, him, the Mashiach man, get, not, didn't the Mashiach get baptized? Yes, he did. He said, John, he said, suffer it to be so, for thus it behooves all righteousness. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And from that point on, he did not commit any sin. We don't know whether he committed any before then. And, and we know and that, the, right. that that Israel didn't come into that right. body until after that baptism. Mm -hmm. Which is why he came on to him as soon as he came up out of the water. As it was immediately. He came up out of it was the water. nothing. Praise God. It was, it was and that's how he could say, which of you convict me mm -hmm. of sin? You mm -hmm. know that I've walked sinless mm -hmm. among you. Mm -hmm. He walked in the law, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise, Praise you mm -hmm. All right, sisters. Titus chapter 2. How far do we go into Galatians? Uh, through 29. Okay, 29. okay what's Titus saying, John? Oh, uh, just keep turning backwards. Back where you are. Go. Like yes, ma'am. This past uh, Thessalonian and Timothy. Oh. I got it. Titus chapter 2. Okay. Hmm. What verse did I want to 
The fourth Fe- Thessalonians? Oh, huh? It's right past uh, Titus. Right, if you get to Timothy, pass right past Timothy. After Timothy? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. We ready? Mm-hmm. I'm going to pick up verse, verse 11 through 15. It's Titus 1? Chapter 2. 2. Okay. Verse 11 oh, through 15. Two. Did I say 2? Titus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 2. Mm-hmm. Verse 11 through 15. For the grace, remember we've been talking about that word, grace, mm-hmm. hope, mm-hmm. faith, faith mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is what all, all things that Abraham exhibited, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Having not had the law written down for him, mm-hmm. but he walked in it. Mm-hmm. And he believed Yahweh. Mm-hmm. Everything Yahweh said, he did. He believed. Obedience. Obedience. Mm-hmm. He said, mm-hmm. take your son, mm-hmm. your only son, mm-hmm. ultimate, and obedience. go sacrifice him to me. Ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is the same son that he had promised him when he didn't have a child when he was 100 years old. And now, years later, Yahweh say, go kill him. Mm-hmm. And that man still mm-hmm. was obedient. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. That's, some, that's some faith there. Mm-hmm. 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 That, that Praise a, y'all. It was a whole lot harder than keeping the Ten Commandments, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, verse 11. For the grace of Yah that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live what? Soberly, Mm -hmm. righteously, and godly in this present world, Mm -hmm. looking for that blessed hope and the glorious Mm -hmm. appearing of the great Elohim and our Savior, Yahshua, the anointed one, mm-hmm. who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity mm-hmm. and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Mm-hmm. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise you. Go on, Paul, with your bad self. Mm-hmm. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> all right, First Peter. <laughs> Chapter 1, 1 Peter. Keep going a little further back, Mother. Past Hebrews and James. Okay. And Sister Cheryl, you want to pick this up? 1 Peter chapter 1 and pick it up. Let's see. Pick it up at verse 18. Okay. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 through... Wait a minute. First Peter. Oh, no one. I'm in the wrong chapter. First Peter chapter First Peter? one. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was in the wrong chapter. Pick it up at verse eighteen mm-hmm. and go through twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Verse eighteen. You okay? For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold hmm. from your vain conversations received by tra- tra- tradition mm-hmm. from your fathers. Mm-hmm. But with the precious blood of the anointed one as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. That speaks to him as the Passover lamb, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. 20. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Mm -hmm. Who by him do believe in Elohim that raised him up from the dead Uh and gave him glory. Mm -hmm. That your faith and hope be in Elohim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not be in Yahshua. Mm -hmm. uh, These brothers are still talking about Yahweh, right? Mm -hmm. That your love and your faith and your Mm -hmm. hope and your obedience be to Yah. Through Yahshua. Yes. The Messiah. She acts right? Yes. So faith, hope, love, Mm -hmm. grace. This is all what he's talking about that we must have as new covenant. Mm -hmm. Not the deeds of the law. Right. Which are the animal sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Believing in the blood of the Mashiach to cover our transgressions. It's a whole other level. You got to have faith in that, sisters. Yeah. Who else would believe that kind of stuff? Huh? 
But like it, it goes back in the scripture and he said, finding fault with them. Mm -hmm. Not anything about my law. Right. With them. They the choose. Because mm -hmm. right? they walk not in my law mm -hmm. and I regarded them not. Yeah. Right? Praise your yeah. sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. 22. Mm -hmm. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit mm -hmm. unto unfeigned un love of the brother, mm -hmm. see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Amen. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, mm -hmm. by the word of Elohim, which liveth and abideth. Forever. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Seeing you have what? Purified your soul. Mm -hmm. Gone through the baptism, right? Right. And you then you walk in obeying the truth mm -hmm. through the spirit mm -hmm. unto unfeigned love of the brethren. Mm -hmm. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. Mm -hmm. Being what? Pure. Born again, right? Mm -hmm. Not of corruptible seed. But of incorruptible mm -hmm. by the word of Yah, which what liveth and abideth forever. Mm -hmm. The word of Yah is Israel, Correct. and mm -hmm. He lives and abides forever. Mm -hmm. He said, "I was, I am, mm -hmm. and I, I, I was." Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is, He was, He is, mm -hmm. and He, he will, will be. be. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. I was, mm -hmm. I am, and I will be. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And you know, both those mm -hmm. verses you pulled up are, are very telling because verse 22, seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit. So mm -hmm. obeying the truth in the Spirit truly is keeping mm -hmm. of Yah's law because that, because that, mm -hmm. that is truth. Right. Everything that right. comes out of Yah's mouth is truth. Right. So mm -hmm. obeying the truth right. through the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then you're going back into verse 23, being born again, not of corruptible seed. Mm -hmm. Corruptible seed, the literal Seed, the world, right. the world seed, and but of incorruptible by the word of Elohim. Praise Yah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty-four, Sister Cheryl. Twenty-four. For all flesh is as grass, mm. and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Mm -hmm. The grass withereth, withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. Mm -hmm. But the word of the Adonai. Endureth forever, and this is the word by, by the gospel, by and which? this is the word which by the gospel mm -hmm. is preached unto you. Praise God. What does the word gospel mean? Good news. Good, good news. news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good news. Mm -hmm. They done made it, it out to be news. something else, mm -hmm. though, in mm -hmm. this Christian church. Don't it don't know. mean good news no more. Mm -hmm. What it mean? I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's a whole new new doctrine, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, chapter 2, my sister Cheryl, pick mm -hmm. up verse 21. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm. So nowhere in here did, yeah, as, they, as they like to believe, nowhere in here did Paul tell anyone not to keep the law. Right. No. At no point ever. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Ever. Not what we've read uh, so far? Mm -hmm. Right. Not at all. He no. said, do we then make void the law? Because <laughs> right. we're yeah. doing right. away with the deeds of the law? Yeah. God forbid. Mm -hmm. yeah. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Otherwise, you don't know back. what sin was. So how you know what sin yeah. is? Right. <laughs> so you better make sure you keep the law. You got to keep the law. Praise there you go. There you go. Other, uh, Oh, else, why are we keeping these days? Why mm -hmm. are we talking about the importance of atonement, mm -hmm. which is when all our sins mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. forgiven, mm -hmm. right? If we're not keeping the law. Yeah. Exactly. And what is sin except right. breaking yeah, the yeah. transgression of the law? Sin is a so transgression of it, the law. It's continuous. Which is why Yahshua said, which one of you convict me Correct. of sin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he if he was going to start something new, wouldn't he do it when he was mm -hmm. walking about yeah, it? I think so. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I would think so. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Chapter okay. uh, 2, verse 19. Verse 19. Through 25. Okay. 19. For this is... Think worthy if a man. Uh, wait, oh, where you at? Uh, nineteen. Two, uh, chapter, chapter two, two, verse nineteen. Okay, yeah. Okay. For for this is oh let me see for this is thank worthy if a man for conscience towards Elohim endure grief suffering wrongfully. Mm -hmm. 
For what glory is it if when ye be buffered, buffeted, buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? Mm -hmm. But if when you, ye do well mm -hmm. and suffer for it, ye mm -hmm. take it patiently. Praise this is acceptable with hmm. Elohim. Amen. For even hereunto were ye, ye called, because the anointed one also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps, hmm. who did no sin, mm -hmm. neither was guile found in his mouth, mm -hmm. who, who when he was revealed, reviled, reviled, mm -hmm. reviled not again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he suffered, he threatened not, mm -hmm. but committed himself mm -hmm. to him that judgeth righteously. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, mm -hmm. that, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we are healed. healed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. For ye were as sheep going astray, hmm. but are now returned unto the shepherd hmm. and bishop mm -hmm. of our of your soul. Praise Yah. Amen. Hallelujah. That we are returned unto Yah, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The shepherd and bishop of our mm -hmm. bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he cre did he create you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Before you were in the mother's womb, mm -hmm. you were you were already created, right? Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. You were as sheep going astray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Know where to all all kind mm -hmm. of whims and doctrines, right? Yeah. Grew yeah. up this. We got into yeah. a look. We got into our own, and we started dealing with. Oh man, mm -hmm. I, I remember having all kind of African artifacts all over my house, mm -hmm. not knowing how much demonic stuff yeah. I had up on yeah. my wall. Yeah. yeah, pure paganism. Pure paganism. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't know, and when right. you know better, mm -hmm. you, you definitely do. Better. do better. Praise y'all. But this is this is why that scripture is so important. We were all as sheep going astray, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. we have returned into the bishop yeah. and shepherd of our souls, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The Creator Himself can't do no better than you, that. You, you certainly can. Uh, that was certainly what can. chapter that, um, two, Peter that was two, two right? Mm -hmm. okay. Nineteen through twenty-five. Now we're going to chapter three. And sister, pick up. I'll, I'll pick. Marie, you feel like reading? You haven't read yet. You are, you sleepy? Well, you need to read then. <laughs> it's nothing like some scripture to wake you right up and read. <laughs> and I'm a little short. Okay, okay I'll, I'll pick it up. Y'all don't mind. Chapter 3, verse 18. Okay, 18. What time is it? I don't mm -hmm. want to keep y'all. It's 1027. Okay, well, three more minutes. Y'all good? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Praise y'all. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. For the Mashiach also has once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, mm -hmm. that he might bring us to Yah, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, mm -hmm. by the which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, mm -hmm. which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of Yah waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a prepared was preparing wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Mm -hmm. The like figure, whereunto even baptism also do now save us, not the putting away of the flat, filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward Elohim by the resurrection of Yahshua the Mashiach, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of Elohim, Angels and authorities and power being made subject mm -hmm. unto him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Yahweh, Yahshua, through mm -hmm. Elohim, preached unto the dead mm -hmm. of those in, in prison. And the, in verse 19, when it talks about the spirits in prison, mm -hmm. it, it, it is, this is the only place it is mm -hmm. said, but we know that there are spirits imprisoned on the earth especially in the okay. river Euphrates. Okay. Now, whether that's talking about them, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. But, you know, that's the, those are the only spirits I've read about that mm -hmm. are literally imprisoned in the earth at oh, this wow. time. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we know that Lucifer mm -hmm. himself, he, he's not imprisoned in the earth. Mm -hmm. Not at this time. Mm -hmm. He has access to and from heaven whenever he goes, right? Mm -hmm. Every day. He mm -hmm. lives in heaven. Mm -hmm. Not on earth. Mm -hmm. So, But there were some spirits that were literally in prison on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's going to be loose right before the great tribulation period. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ah, uh, that was chapter mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pick up one John chapter two. And keep going, just a few verses, chapters over. Mm -hmm. One John chapter two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna read uh, chapter two, verse one through two. Mm -hmm. My little children, these things write out unto you that you sin not. Mm -hmm. And this is Johanan talking, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not Johanan the Baptist, but Johanan the Apostle. Mm -hmm. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with Yahweh, Yahshua, the Mashiach, the righteous. Mm -hmm. And he is what? The propitiation, the propitiation for our sins. Mm -hmm. And not for ours only, but also mm -hmm. for the sins of the whole world. Mm -hmm. If they turn to Yah, mm -hmm. right, and began walking in righteousness through the faith mm -hmm. that Yahshua's blood would cover their sins too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's as far as I wanted y'all to go. I wanted okay. to go, my sisters, in that. Mm 